Previously on Mega Man 5... Yeah, yeah, I know the guy's real name, but come on, he's somewhat more relevant to the plot than most Fortress bosses, and he's kind of pathetically easy. Give the guy some dignity. Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to the Mega Man 5 Fortress stage perfect runs, and once more, unto Proto Man's Putt Putt of Doom. Onward to stage two. And so let's do this. This stage does have some danger spots to watch out for. Here you need to get close enough to quickly take that cannon out using the Sniper Joe method. Doing that will give you more time to dodge the shot coming from behind you. And if you want the end tank, you'll need to go up on the right hand side, take that cannon out, and then use Rush Quill to jump up through the center of that platform. It's actually fake there. And speaking of Rush Quill, we're gonna need it in a minute. A dog! And we have the Met Trains back again, adorable as ever. You want to take this room a bit slowly. Limit what all you have to fight at one time. You don't have to worry too much about the trains. They're mostly in positions to where their shots will just go harmlessly over your head. You do have to dodge a shot from that last one, but there's plenty of room to get around it, no problem. In this room, you need to get all the way to the ladder on the left-hand side. If you just drop straight down, well, death spikes. This room can feel a bit intimidating just with everything trying to drop explosives on you and the bottomless pits, but it really isn't that bad. Here, just fire three shots and slide under the crystals. No problem. Hey! Hey, you! Now, here's where things start to get a bit on the tricky side. Oh, that's a bit of a portent of doom. Alright, so this Graviton is a bit too high for me to hit with uncharged shots. It really looks like I should be hitting it, but the hitbox says no. So we have to slide between the drops. And it's trickier than it looks, because even the splash will damage you. There we go. Yeah, like I said, it might not look like much, but it kind of is. And risky prize time. Oh dear. That's not good. There we go. Now to try and escape with it. That was needlessly risky, but I have to have my shinies. I don't quite think I can get that one without a utility. And so now we have this room. And I really wish I knew what they were aiming at. These enemies just never really feel like much of a threat. It's kind of bizarre. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Here we have a bit of a net cannon ambush. And now for things to get really tough. You want to start by luring the Puka Pellies down here. Uh, reset. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you fire, it's going to lure that Sumatran down. So, then we just dodge the tiger. Again, try and take this room a bit slowly. Take you out while you're in the wall. And one more Sumatran. Kitty, where are you going? There's a gate there! Apparently it has a pet door. And after all that, it's boss time! And yep, this is all he's gonna do to us is walk at us. Booga booga booga! After everything else in this stage, <laughs> 2 is kinda pathetic. Definitely a breather boss. You can usually get two to three shots per pass. If the shields are fully on the outside, it will deflect your shots, so they're not just for show. But the way they spin, it's easy enough to get a shot in on him.
And there we go. So that's Proto Man Castle 2 out of the way. Oh, mini golf. Oh, mini golf. Let's play putt putt, let's play putt putt, maybe we'll get holes in one. Little preview of the next stage. I think visually this is probably my favorite stage in Proto Man's Castle, but we'll get to this next time. For now, oh yeah, outtakes. Enjoy! This stage is a bit trickier than the last one in some areas. Like right there, for example. Just some careful jumps to make here, and some bombs to avoid, and some things to jump right into. Good job! Now this room gets back into the tricky timing, and in a kind of picky way. The splash from those things hitting the ground will still hurt you. Case in point, bugger! Basically, in this room, you just don't want to panic. Most of the trains are at an elevated level, so they're... Thanks for absorbing my shot there. <laughs> nice sacrifice play. Unfortunately, the splashes they make will hurt you, too. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Yeah, you can get some goodies here if you want. Bit on the risky side, but I want my shinies! Greed does not pay. <laughs> no one to blame but myself on that one. The jumps in this room... They can be a little bit intimidating due to all the stuff trying to drop bombs on you and things scrolling back in from the back. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't getting through that one. And here's where things get really bad. Yep, I knew that was going to catch me. And so we've cleared the second stage. This one was a little bit trickier, but still, really not that bad overall. I give Proto Man's Castle Stage 2 a 3 out of 10. I was debating whether or not to give it a 4, but going back through the footage, most of the stage really isn't that bad. There are only really two major trouble spots in the stage. Three if you count not knowing you can use the Sniper Joe method on those cannons in the second room. My first few recording attempts, I actually didn't know that. I could have sworn I'd tried it and it didn't work. Now, I'm not counting the danger of getting that E-Tank in this rating. That was purely optional, and my eternal thirst for shinies getting me into trouble. The major areas that can cause problems are getting past that one Graviton that's too high to hit, and of course the final stretch with the Pukapellis and Sumatrans. There, though, it's mainly just that first bit, clearing the two Pukapellis before the Sumatran can get to you. Alternatively, you can take out the Sumatran first, but that method is a little bit trickier getting to it in time before the Puka Pellies close in on you. Other than that, though, the stage is pretty simple. <laughs> Two is basically a non-issue. Ooh, he's walking at me, scary! Like... <laughs> one, he will speed up after you damage him enough, but it's far less threatening here since he doesn't shoot at you, so there's less to have to dodge. Now, if he did that, it might have warranted a higher score, but as it is, 3 out of 10 for stage 2. With that, that's the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.